What is up, YouTube? Lamont at large. Coming to you from 5055 Sinclair Road here in Columbus, Ohio. I'm at the Al Rosa Club. This was where uh, Dimebag Daryl was shot and killed on December 8, 2004. Dimebag Daryl, if you don't know who he is, he was a guitarist with the heavy metal band Pantera, as you can see. Uh, rest in peace, Dime. This rock has been uh, dedicated as a memorial to his memory. And uh, like I was saying, uh, this was the spot uh, where he was killed. Uh, he was performing with uh, a side band of his and his brothers called Damage Plan. Uh, at that night, uh, this place kind of holds about 600 people or so, but there was only half the uh, people capacity. There was about 250 people at the show that night. And uh, an estranged fan by the name of Nathan Gale, uh, right at about 90 seconds into the band's performance, uh, Gale had hopped the wall and went through the back of the club and jumped on stage and Dimebag was just doing his thing and he pulled out a gun and shot him right in the head. Shot him right in the head. Right in front of his brother, Vinny. He was the drummer of that band. I could only imagine you know, being so close to your brother, you, you, you're in a band with your brother, you party with your brother, and to have his life just snuffed out like that, very, very dis, uh, disgusting. Three people were also killed uh, in this shooting. Nathan Bray, Jeff Thompson, who was uh, a roadie for Damage Plan, and Aaron Hoff, he was a... Uh, uh, an employee of this club and just minutes into the shooting thankfully people called 911 and the police got a call that there was a shooting at this nightclub and an officer James Nigmeyer uh, came by and he knew when he was when he rolled up he was dealing with an active shooter this is the fence where that guy climbed over to get into the back So when he hopped this fence, he must have went into one of those two doors right here. Probably that one, because that would be like the stage area door. So I'm pretty sure that's the door where he went into and uh, committed his massacre. There could have easily been a fifth victim. He had somebody uh, on the stage in a headlock and he had a gun to his head when Officer Nick Meyer came by. And luckily, uh, the killer did not see the officer when he raised his shotgun and struck and killed Nathan uh, uh, Gale, uh, killed him instantly. Currently, this, this place is still open, but due to the uh, corona situation, it is closed indefinitely until things return back to normal and hopefully they will soon but if you're a fan of heavy metal i would definitely tell you to uh check out pantera and uh, damage plan it was two really really good bands you never know you never know this guy was just a complete psycho. And uh, the only reason uh, investigators came up with for why he committed the shooting is because he was angry that uh, Pantera had broken up and he blamed Dimebag for them breaking up. That's all that was known about it. So just a, uh, just a weird sick individual uh, he, and uh, because of his disgusting acts he killed four people he ripped families apart and he took one of the uh, greatest uh, live guitarists uh, to ever live 
Anyways, I am out of here, guys. Just wanted to show you really quick this place. And uh, rest in peace to Dimebag, Nathan Bray, Jeff Thompson, and Aaron Hulk. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Catch up with you later. Peace out.